From facing off against Tyson Fury to knocking opponents out with his jab, Alexander Usyk will now face off against what could potentially be his greatest challenge yet. Of course, I'm talking about none other than Martin Bacoli. I mean, when it comes to boxing heavyweights, Bacoli is not someone you want to mess with. In the white and black. Bacoli coming in much heavier, pounds, just shy of 277 pounds. He's such a feared fighter that almost nobody in the division wants to face him right now. Though, according to an inside source, he's gonna have to rely on being considered a mandatory fight just to get into the ring with an opponent. Now, before rumors started floating around about Bacoli potentially stepping into the ring with Usyk, the latter was slated to face off against Tyson Fury in a belt unification bout to solidify the championship. But it doesn't look like that fight will be happening anytime soon, so the probability of seeing this fight just shot up tenfold. Fold. Of course, as things stand right now, nothing has been confirmed. There are so many variables to consider when it comes to matching up fighters of this caliber. We don't even know if these two men want to step into the ring with each other. Still, you have to wonder whether even Usyk trembles at the thought of going up against Bacoli. Uh, I want to pray, I want to thank everyone who prayed for me. I mean, a lot of people might take Usyk's unwillingness to step inside the ring with Martin as a sign that he's scared. However, that couldn't be farther from the truth. Seriously, just think about it for a sec. This dude is one of the most dangerous men on the planet right now. Do you think he's gonna be afraid of facing off against another dangerous heavyweight? If anything, he'd probably revel at the opportunity of facing someone who could stand tall and take his punches. <laughs> That said, there's another problem that's been thrown into the mix. These two men have already faced each other behind closed doors. In case you're confused, I'm talking about how they've both faced each other as sparring partners. This means that both fighters have experience in going up against each other and know what to expect. Still though, you have to wonder whether that's enough reason to delay a fight that has the potential of drawing the attention of millions. Well, if I'm being honest, there's a big problem here that's not being talked about enough. See, traditionally, when a fighter is slated to face off against someone, he hasn't interacted with that fighter in the past. At least, not in the way that these two men have. Since they've already sparred together multiple times, they've probably figured out each other's weaknesses pretty well by now. Yeah, you know, everyone knows Uzik. Uzik is the best in Kuzwet, and now we move to Everwet. So, they know why they chose me, because... Uh, Sure, they might not have figured out every trick that the other has up his sleeve, but it's close enough to where both men can gain the upper hand through unfair means. As far as I can tell, Bacoli isn't too concerned about something like that happening. However, Usyk's reluctance to step inside the squared circle with his former sparring partner might suggest otherwise. Again, it's important to note that this does not mean that Alexander is scared of Bacoli. All it means is that he might not have anything left to surprise Martin with, and this could affect the outcome of their match. When you're in a business where stuff like that matters a ton, you can't afford to leave anything up to chance. Another reason why Yusik might not be too keen to step into the ring with Martin might be because he considers him an ally rather than just another fighter. Though with all these hypotheticals, is Yusik even good enough to step up to the challenge in the first place? Well, spoiler alert, he's the most menacing heavyweight out there right now. Fight of the year contender, has Alexander Usyk become the heavyweight champion, or did AJ just do enough? Okay, this one might just be my opinion, but I still think it's worth hearing out. See, Usyk is currently undefeated. From the 20 fights he's won, he's managed to win 13 of those via knockout. Counter shot, but that's all right. Usyk is in charge. Yes. Four, five, six, seven, 
I don't know about you, but if I had a choice, there's no way in hell I'd even consider stepping into the ring with a guy like him. Despite that, we have Martin Bacoli, who seems to think that beating Oleksandr Yusik will be an easy job. Honestly, if you ask me, there's no way that Bacoli will come out of this fight unscathed. Now, sure, there's a fairly good chance that he might become the first fighter to have defeated Yusik, and there's no denying the fact that if that does end up happening, he'll end up making history. But Yusik won't be an easy foe to take down. I mean, he's got 20 wins under his belt. And let me tell you, those kinds of numbers are no joke. With At the same time, you have to take a step back and try to evaluate how good Martin Bacoli is. Because yep, Bacoli is also one of the most feared heavyweight boxers out there right now. To says, He's no issues with Bacoli's size. Move. He's got the boxing skills. He's and only lost in London 2012 on a count back to Arta Vittori. There's virtually nobody out there who would willingly want to take Yusik on. The man is determined, focused, and ready to dominate. All we have to do now is wait and see how the fight ends up going. That is, if it even ends up happening in the first place. I, for one, think that the fight itself will be one of the most enthralling fights I've ever seen in this. Bacoli has the power needed to knock his opponents out. If he manages to land a few lucky shots, he'll be well on his way to taking home the win. Bacoli falling short with his jab occasionally. Brought and Michael Hunter. Richie's giving him three of those. The best part is that he's already faced off against Usyk before. Sure, it wasn't an official fight, rather, it was just two abnormally strong men facing off against one another. If they somehow end up stepping into the ring with one another, the outcome of the fight will probably end up being very different from what we're expecting. Though, with all that being said, there's really only one question left to answer now, right? I mean, which of these guys would have the upper hand heading into this fight? Well, as it stands right now, the bout hasn't been confirmed by either party. In fact, with everything that's been said so far, you could even say that this is another one of those dream matchups that the fans of the sport want to see but probably never will. And yet, you can't help but wonder which fighter would end up winning the fight should these two get booked for a bout soon. Honestly, I don't have an answer to that question. Look, both of these guys have a tremendous amount of skill. I mean, they've had to be something special considering they've managed to get this far in a combat sport such as this. Both fighters are equally skilled and there's no telling what would end up happening if they got into the ring with one another. Yusik hasn't come close to losing a fight yet. Though, this might be one opponent that he has a chance of losing to. Despite having faced each other behind closed doors, both fighters are pretty skilled and know their way around a boxing ring. That means that both men will have certain tricks up their sleeves that could potentially help one of them gain the upper hand over the other. At the end of the day, we won't know who'd end up winning the bout until it happens. However, there's one thing that we know for sure, and that's the fact that when this fight finally does end up happening, it's gonna be one hell of a matchup. The fight will be electrifying and will probably probably draw a crowd of millions. And that, folks, was everything on why Martin Bacoli will be Alexander Yusik's greatest challenge yet.